Hello everyone and welcome back to KSP Career Mode. One second, here is our tech tree. Now even though we do have 20 science and we could buy any one of these, to be honest, the only one that could possibly help us the most, I would think, would be the survivability. And here's why, because right now we can't upgrade the space plane hangar, because the space plane hangar costs 450 bucks to upgrade so we're going to be stuck with a craft that has 30 parts regardless of what we unlock now we could upgrade the runway but all that does is give us the ability to build something that's heavier and longer but if you're stuck with 30 parts you're never going to reach those two so why upgrade it right now so being that we can only build shit that's about 30 parts means that construction wise our options are still limited so we have to make sure that whatever we get will allow us to get more out of those 30 30 part restrictions. Now yes, I have looked at general rocketry. It does have the larger fuel tank, which means that I could literally cut the part count in half for the same amount of fuel. So that is an option. Stability gives us nose cones and wings. Nose cones allows us to have separate fuselages. Fuselage, fuz, fuz, you know, I'm fucking farch. Farch it out. I cannot speak right now. But it also gives us larger winglets. So we don't have to paste together a whole bunch of little ones. However, at this point in time, survivability also gives us another science part. What this means is that we can go all, all over the map again to what we can reach with our current tech and possibly squeeze out a little bit more science. Also, the service bay helps out when we go into orbit. It can hide all the science stuff inside of it. So choices, choices, choices. However, let's not forget the real reason why survivability would be our best bet right now. It's because right after survivability, survivability is basic science which unlocks the battery as well as a slew of other scientific stuff we can use and the stay putnik probe core with this we can test out experimental craft without having to endanger living crew members i think i'll go ahead and accept this one because we are going to go back up there so this is a science data recover from space around kerbin we can definitely do that all right we're going to unlock survivability man i don't know if we unlock general rocketry we'll be stuck having to get another 15 science just so that we can unlock the batteries which is in our 45 that's 60 science that's a lot of science and all general rocketry will do is just help us get bigger fuel tanks which by definition could make our vehicles larger with more range okay i'm gonna make a judgment call i know i said survivability in order to get to basic science quicker but if we play our cards right we can make more capable crafts with general rocketry in order to fulfill more contracts and get more science the decision i make here now could soft lock this game the reason why i say that is because if i make a decision and then suddenly we can't make money or fulfill contracts let alone get enough science to unlock anything else we'll be stuck true we could grind the damn test out this engine or test out that heat shield bullshit but some of the parameters for those tests aren't easy others you just basically turn it on and look at it and you'll get a little bit of money from it so if we want to grind that tiny little pocket change i'm nah, sure we could do that but fuck tourism is where it's at when it comes to money but right now we're kind of stuck okay here i go here i go i know i know i know i know this sucks shit oh, man 20 this is gonna this is this i oh, fucking hope i know what i'm doing i'm going against all my better judgment with this one all because of that damn tank it'll help free up a lot of parts fuck may our curbing children have mercy on us all right it's done no more complaining Okay, I don't think this is going to work at all. This is why I'm not going to put anybody in these containers. I'm only going to have Jebediah and he's got a means to eject. So the idea is to, of course, to be able to carry tourists up there. I know that this is going to screw with the center of mass and center of thrusters and all this other good shit. But if I do it right, I might be able to get away with it. We'll test out several different variations first and then 
finally make a product. Okay, no clue if this is gonna work. Probably won't. In three, two, please don't die, Jebediah. I will do everything in my power to save you. Is everything working? Does he have the decoupler? Okay, good. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. Oh, 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 no you, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Whoa, 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 what popped? Okay, we lost, uh, gotcha. I knew that would pop. The back fin seemed to be stabilizing pretty good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I had the stages wrong. Well, there goes 7,000 bucks. Okay, all right, it was way too close for last time. If I see anything I don't like, we are bailing. In three, two, one. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, we are in orbit. We have two passengers in orbit. Oh, shit. We have very little fuel, but we have enough to do orbit. But still, shit. I think I'll start my gravity turn a little earlier. Try to save a little bit more delta V. But this is a proof of concept that we can get a second Kerbal up here. Not sure how safe it is, but we can. And I'm going to have to end it right here because we're all out of time. So we'll figure it out later. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. And, of course, that bell notification that probably doesn't work at all. But other than that, holy crap. This is like the bleeding edge. There's there's like no room for error. We have no technology, literally almost nothing. If a tourist really wants to get up in here and go to orbit, they are putting their entire life on the line. There's no guarantees. But seriously, I think I'll go for more of a space hopper and start jumping to different biomes to get a little bit more science so we can unlock a little bit more tech. Yeah, I think, I think that would probably be the safest, smartest bet. Because I still don't know how these guys are going to get back. I'm hoping it works the same way as the other one, but it might not. <sighs>